Hey, what's going on guys, Sex here, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers Power of the Primes, uh, Pretender Shells Wave 1. Uh, from left to right you have Metal Hawk, and then it also includes Vector Prime. Then you have Cloud Burst, which has Micronus, and then there's Skullgrim, which has Liege Maximo. Uh, I believe that's how you say that. Uh, so first off, starting left to right, we'll start off with Metal Hawk, and as you can see, that really nice job here with the paint. Uh, take his little cannon off there. Uh, you can see that, you know, they all can hold a little gun, which I think is pretty cool. Then you can attach it to the back and make him a target master. So, uh, I I'm, was really excited about these whenever I first saw them, just because I've always had, you know, a lot of the pretender shells. I thought it was a very interesting thing. It's something that I had as a kid as well. Uh, I never had Metal Hawk, so it's pretty cool to have this guy. And now that I'm going to be able to collect all the pretenders, so hopefully they do them all. Uh, but nice paint here on, uh, on the front. Uh, you can see that the mold uh, is, you know, represents uh, that of the G1 uh, pretty closely. Uh, the arms, they are articulated. That's really all you're going to get as far as articulation goes. Uh, there's a little look at the back. But uh, open this guy up, and you see that you have the little prime figure in there. Let me try to get this guy out of here. And close that back up. We'll attach the gun up there. And that's just kind of how the shell will be, um, you know, sitting on the shelf. So uh, taking a look at this guy individually, you can see a little bit of paint there on the face. Not a whole lot, just some silver. Uh, I can rotate the head, the hands, they go up and down a little bit, in and out. And then you have the legs that can, you know, forward there. You can bend here at the knee. You can do a seating position. Uh, or you can just collapse it up. And uh, there's kind of, instead of the head, uh, to go for a headmaster uh, that they had in um, Titans Returns. Now they kind of have, you know, this little gimmick, which I, I guess it's all right, you know. Uh, but uh, to put this guy into his, I guess, target master mode, you would just, you know, flip this over and flip this down. And then you have, you see these two little pegs and you have those holes there at the feet. There's also this right here that will fit in there. So you just kind of start with the feet, make sure that those are in, and then the head will lay down. And there's your little target master, which I think is uh, pretty nice looking. So it, you can bring, you know, any of your deluxes or voyagers and they can hold this. So uh, I think the um, little hand peg there is uh, universal for pretty much all of them. So they'll all be able to use this target master, which I think is really neat. So, all right, taking a look at the next one, Cloud Burst. And uh, again, removing his weapon, he's got a little bit of paint on there. Uh, same thing with uh, Metal Hawk, you know, he had some silver paint. So I'm glad that they're painting those up. And again, uh, you know, this is one that I did have. And uh, it's uh, pretty close as far as resemblance to the uh, G1. And uh, I like all the paint. Again, the arms move. Uh, we'll open him up and take his guy out. There we go. All right, we'll go ahead and attach his gun or cannon here to the back of him. And as far as, uh, like I said, because I actually had this guy, uh, this is what the, you know, Cloud Burst uh, Pretender or the little robot inside the shell uh, looked like as far as paint scheme, you know, with the red arms, the silver chest, he had the blue face. So uh, I like that they, you know, kind of mimic that. So, anyway, same articulation. I'm not going to cover it again, but uh, we'll go ahead and close him up. And you can see that uh, that's what his little symbol looks like. And put this guy in his target master mode. I'll just come down with the cannon and down with the handle. And do the same thing with the feet. Just kind of use those first to set on top. And let's see. There we go. Get that down completely and again you know pretty nice looking uh target master i like the way these uh these turned out as far as i'm trying to do a little bit something else with it you know they they finally figured out a way to make pretender shells you know cool you know i was wondering how they were going to be able to implement that into uh one of the new transformer series so i think this is the best way to do it just these little mini guys uh, then we have Skullgrin here, which uh, looks really good. Another you know figure that I had. And you can see a nice little Decepticon symbol on there. It's a nice paint scheme. Uh, very similar, you know, to what you got as far as, you know, the G1. Uh, again, you know, same articulation. Uh, open him up. 
and we can get the little robot out. I, I don't have fingernails, so this is like the hardest part for me. Let's see if I can grab by a leg, make them out. There we go. And again, you know, we'll just put this little thing. Uh, let's see where it goes right there. And put him off to the side. And uh, same thing with uh, Cloudburst. You know, I, I, since I have this one, this is exactly how, you know, the color scheme looked for the robot. You know, the silver legs and pink arms and the uh, silver here in the top. And then he had the pink on the face. So I think it's, uh, you know, pretty, pretty nice representation there. So same articulation as the other ones. And... Bin this guy around, and that's what his little symbol is going to look like. Get these guys in their target master mode. Uh, he's kind of got, instead of a gun, kind of more of a, a claw melee weapon there. Uh, so we'll come down with that. Down with that, and then same thing, you know, fit the little feet holes into those two pegs. And, uh, you know, not bad. Well, I think I like the guns more, but it's cool to have a little melee weapon guy. And it makes sense to do the the beast like that. They'll probably do the same, same thing with uh, uh, some Martyr or you know, Gilmer, whatever you want to call them, and Bomb Burst or Blood. So, anyways, I wanted to show that to you guys. Um, I think these are uh, really cool little figures. And, you know, they're not really expensive at all. So, uh Bravo Hasbro. So, anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.